here is the beginning of painting this little purse, this little Mighty Grattis, and they come pre-glittered like this, and which is really cool because I use this element as part of the design. So I like that about it. I have here just three different size brushes, a small, a medium, and a large. Um, my favorite paints that I love to use, teal, yellow, magenta. I have some white here as well, some um, titanium white. Later on, that's for the first layer. The second layer we're gonna use, I'm gonna use this um, fan brush to do a little bit of splattering. And then at the end, we're also gonna use these uh, kind of puff paints to create more designs on top. And then of course, we're going to add a little bit of bling. So I'm just gonna start, I have teal and I have um, cobalt turquoise. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the darker color and I'm gonna use the teal to lighten up as we go along. So I always like to paint light to dark. And actually, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use, I wanna see what kind of brush stroke I get. I'm gonna use this brush to begin, the medium sized brush. And I am brushing very lightly. So I'm trying to cover, and at the same time, I'm trying to leave space. I'm trying to leave chunks of this glitter showing through as well. So. Gotta kinda think about it as you do it a little bit. And already I can tell you, I think I'm going to love the way <clears throat> the magenta hits this kind of peachy color here. Oh, yep, I knew it. And this cobalt turquoise and magenta always makes a very beautiful purple. So it is very nice when they touch. Very nice. I love to see them play together. That's what I call it, a little bit of play. Little bit of play, they ain't never hurt nobody. So. All right, so that's step one. And I would take a blow dryer and blow this. I'm gonna let that dry and then come right back. And it's dry because if I go right into, I'm gonna go into yellow next and I go in and start trying to blend, it's gonna totally mix these colors together and it's not gonna look very pretty. It's not gonna have that layered type of effect. So I'm gonna let that dry, very important. All right, here we go. I'm back and I am coming in with a little bit of the yellow that's this one and um, I'm just gonna use the fan brush because I want it very nice and light and I want to get some of those orange tones and I'm also excited to see how the yellow will react with the uh, that kind of peachy background so ooh, I like I like I like I like I like so I'm going very this is a very very light brush stroke very very light and uh, I love and I also want to get some of in here all right so that's that I love it and I'm gonna stop there and I'm actually gonna go ahead and go straight into splattering this once I let this dry for just a second more. These splatters you really can't control. It's always fun to see what happens with it. I just love all the little surprises. And I just 
love that. So I'm gonna let that dry just like that. And I'm gonna stop there and let that dry. All right, so here I go with the second round of splattering, which I'm gonna go with yellow this time and then white because now what I'm doing is I'm lightening. I'm lightening it up, so let's see what we get. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white. I didn't even rinse off my brush, so I have a, bit of, a little bit of yellow on there too, which I like. Go splatter that. And now I'm gonna let that dry. So there it is. All right, so I felt like my blue is a little bit too muted, that teal color, because of the way it dried. When it dried, it dried really light. So I'm gonna go back in and just put a few little blue, uh, or the cobalt color splatters on there. And get a little bit more paint. And I'm just gonna splatter a little bit. Okay, yeah, now I'm liking that. I like that a lot. So I'm going to leave that there and let that dry. Just use these Tulip Metallics to write Mardi Gras 2017 on this. I hope you can see it. I don't know if it's showing right. But um, that was the last step. And I'm probably going to go back in and, I don't know, maybe add some, I don't know, something. But I'll also add bling. And so for now, I'm just gonna let that dry um, until the next step. All right, and so that's the end of it. I went back and added a little bit of bling and the words have dried and um, now that I'm looking at it, I actually might go back with the glitter over the words just to make it pop out a little bit more.